Hello, how are you? Amanda, Saint Artist. We're gonna do our eyeshadow today and I am gonna do all my favorites. And you can tell they're my favorites because I've hit 10 on every color in here. I actually went through my eyeshadow palette of all of the Saint colors and I took out just the ones that hit 10. All of these are still intact and beautiful. I do share these, I do love these, but I of course have my favorites. Everybody has their favorites. We're gonna make an eye look based off of that. I always keep my third layer. This is my everyday palette. My third layer always has powders. My second layer are my lip and cheek colors, and then my top layer is my face. I try to keep my powders away from my creams so that this doesn't happen. This is Sunshine State, and it got black in it, and I can't use it anymore. And it's limited edition. I hope I have another one. <laughs> So keep them separate. That's all I'm saying. All right, let's get started. I've already prepped my lids with my brightening highlight. Use whatever primer you want. I use my brightening highlight and it works for me. A lot of people find that it creases and they don't love that, especially if you have mature lids or oily lids. All right, next I'm going to go into my colors and I'm going to explain them all. All right, these this layer right here, this row, these are great base layers. Lash to brow base prep your lid colors. I've got cupcake mama and pup depending on the tone of your eyelid or the look you're going for these are great all over colors if you have very fair skin stick to cupcake these are going to come off with pigment but if you have a more medium to deeper skin tones pup is great and if you like to have a pink base then mama is also really wonderful all right the next i'm going to talk about are these three shimmers here they're all similar i've got roam i've got Let's see. Okay. I've got Rome. I've got Drift. I've got Sabrina. They're all really similar. They're all very good. You only need one. Rome is a bit more cool toned, but it does look extremely similar when used. So here is Rome. I'll swatch it on my arm for you. You can't really see it, but that's Rome. This is Drift and you go on. They're similar, but Rome does have a bit more of a cool pigment to it. And then we have Sabrina, I'll put it on the other side, but these two look the same. This one just has a little bit more deepness, but you really truly only need one. Drift is my favorite, I like the, I like the formula, but heck, I do like them all. All right, the next colors I'm gonna talk about are these two satin finishes, not satin, matte finishes. I've got Lullaby here, it's a nice purple tone, and Oak. Oak has the smallest tint amount because it's my second one in this palette. I go through this one a lot. I actually keep one in my gym palette, but I also keep another one that's hit tin in my eyebrow palette. Doesn't this look pretty? Look at that brow wax, I like it. I use Trust and I use Oak. Oak is a great color because it is really good for brows. You can get it wet and make it a little more deep. It's such a good color because it can be used for more than just an eyeshadow. All right, next I'm gonna go into these other shimmers that are my favorites. This is As You Wish, it's peach, and it has flecks of pinky purples in it. This is gilded. It's a lot like Lullaby in shimmer form. These are also a lower fleck shimmer. I prefer low fleck shimmers because I have maturing lids. This is Peppa, it's peach, and it's beautiful. And then Foxy. Foxy has been my favorite for three years. I love this color. You can have hot chocolate, but you want Foxy. Hot chocolate is a very pretty color. Let me see if I have it. I know I have it, so let me find it. Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? No. There's so many different similar colors. I've had somebody ask the difference between high fleck and low fleck. Let me show you. So this is hot chocolate. Do you see the way that it shines and it has, it looks gritty. Gritty is a good word, right? But then you have Foxy. Do you see this is the difference between a high fleck and a low fleck? I'll swatch them. So here's hot chocolate. This is a high fleck shimmer. You see that? Has a high fleck to it. And then this is hot chocolate. They're very similar, but it has a more smoothness to it. A lot of people think that they can't use shimmers if they have mature lids. Go with a low fleck shimmer. And if you don't know which one that is, message me and I will help you. I will send you swatches. I, I buy all of them because I want to be able to swatch them for you. All right, let's put hot chocolate back. I love the way these just pop in and out. It's so nice. All right, putting this one back and we're going to come up with an eye look. So the first thing I'm going to do, I again, I've already prepped my lids with my brightening highlight. It needs to get set because it already wanted to crease. 
and I'm going to set, I'm actually gonna set with two because they are my favorites and I don't know what look I'm quite going for, but first things first, I always put cupcake up top. Up here on my brow into my crease, right here and right here. It's such, I like using the big end of my blend brush. It's a good brush. This thing does so many good things. And the next color I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna go into Mama next and I'm gonna set, I'll, I'll do one on each. So this is Mama set on the eye. It has, it looks the same. It just has a dash of pink into it. We're gonna go into Pup next and we're gonna put that one over here just so that you can see the difference. It's not huge. It's the subtlest tint of pink versus a subtle tint of beige. I think that's a great way of explaining it. I'm gonna put Mama over top because I'm going for pink today. Why not? I like, I like pink, but it's just a nice subtle color. And you can stop here. If you wanna know eyeshadow look, but you don't want your veins and discoloration showing through, just do that. It's really good. I am gonna go into Drift and I'm gonna to top Cupcake up here. I always like a pop of shimmer if you have hooded eyes and you're told don't put shimmer on because it pulls your lids down. That's because you're putting it on after you've added your color. And so it pushes the color down, which then pulls your hood down. So put the shimmer on first. Cause I said so. I don't know, I think I'm right. I forgot to grab, no I didn't, it's right here. All right, I have the eyeshadow brush today and I'm gonna try to use as many of these colors as I can just because it's fun. I'm gonna go into Lullaby first, into the fluffy end of this eyeshadow brush, it's a saint brush, and we're gonna put this up high. And this is what I mean when I say, put your shimmer on first and then put your brow transition color on up here. Look at how pretty Lullaby is. And you can keep a cleaning tile in here to clean in between. But Lullaby is just this beautiful mauve color. I have brown eyes. I've been told purples and mauves are really good. I like to pull this straight out because I want to pull lift. Do you see how it just lifted my hooded eye up just by adding that transition color on my brow bone, not so much in my crease. I try to avoid direct crease. I, it, that will make you look more hooded. All right, next color I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna do oak. We're gonna go in on the small end. I'm just gonna tidy it up a little. We're gonna grab oak, I'm gonna put it on, and we are gonna put this, I keep mine on the out. I don't even go really a quarter of the way in, but I am gonna pull it under right here, and then I'm gonna pull it up, up. Pulling up, don't let the skin pull with it. So go light-handed. <laughs> All right, we're grabbing oak. We're gonna put that on. One of my favorite colors to go with oak is foxy. I love, I love foxy. All right, look at how pretty, look at what this has done to my eye. It's given it good stuff, It's but it's it's hidden the hood. It's taken that hood and it's hidden it. Just tap that away. Okay, we're gonna go in and I'm gonna grab Foxy with the small and dense brush will pick up the most, a finger will pick up even more. And I'm gonna put this on the in inside of that oak on the outer lid right here. It's so, Screw it, we're pushing in. I love, I love this color. If you want a good brown, bronzy, won't te over texturize your lids color, it's foxy. It's a romantic color. Like this is a sexy color. It is, I really love it. The next color I'm gonna go into is, Peppa, let's, why not we, why don't we clean this brush off first? We're gonna grab Peppa and I'm gonna put that on the middle of the lid. This color, look at how, oh, it's a happy, it's a happy color. I love Peppa. I love it. And then I always take a shimmer. Why don't we go into Sabrina? Let's try Sabrina. We put Drift up here and I'm just gonna put that on the inner lid. I don't put it on my inner corner. I think it can start to look gunky throughout the day if you put it on the inner corner. So I put it on the inner lid and then you can just pull them through. But look, look at that. Oh, it's so it's so good. I do like to grab an eyeliner, but I wanna smoke this out a little more. So I'm gonna grab, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna grab Lullaby and I'm gonna make this match. Once you figure out the placement that you like for your eyeshadow, everything goes on really quickly. It To me, it's finding the perfect placement of colors 
and then you just start replacing them with different colors. That's what I find works best for me is just replacing the colors and keeping them. I always have a shimmer on my brow. I always have a transition color that's a good medium happy color. And then I always have a shimmer on my lid. Sometimes I combine them, sometimes I don't, but I do typically low flex shimmer my lid. But once you start figuring out where you like things to go, everything goes on really, really quickly. And I love that. Look, it's already done. And it looks the same. I'm gonna add a little more lullaby. I would say it looks the same and then I'm gonna add oak some more. I really like having this nice, I like a good smoky eye. I don't put shimmer on my lower lash line. I also don't put mascara on my lower lash line because I am maturing. I am gonna take a setting spray, which I have right here, and I'm gonna spray the small end of the brush. You just need, it's tiny, you just need one. And if it's on the handle, pull it up towards the bristles. I am gonna take oak with that wet brush. You can see that it starts changing colors once it starts getting wet. And I'm putting it on, and this is gonna deepen the color. Tap off the excess, and then on the outside, I'm gonna deepen my smoke. I'm gonna grab some more and we're gonna push this on the lash line for a little bit of a smoky liner without lining. I have faux lashes on, so I don't think you need a whole lot, but that's it. These are my favorites. Gilded is another really pretty color. I just don't think that I need to use it. I've already got enough on, but it is one of my favorites and it's really pretty when used with Lullaby. I'm gonna do another look. I'm gonna keep these in here and there will be a part two showing my favorites and I'll use Gilded in the next one. It's so, so pretty. I would probably take Gilded and put it where I placed Foxy and Peppa together. That's how I probably would have used it. All right, that's it. Those are my favorite colors. Have a great day.